Hi guys, Craig Rivers here from Rivers End Outdoors. Today I'm going to do a, a video about cooking gear for a group, a large group at a deer camp. And uh, it should be kind of fun, so come along with me and let's see how it goes. <laughs> So what I want to talk about is that uh, years ago I had a place up in the hills and we just had a big fire pit that we cooked on. Um, it was up there a couple times and it stormed really bad and we had a tent of course and uh, we decided okay the heck with this this ain't gonna work we gotta have something to get out of the rain and keep dry. So we built a shed or a little cabin and put a wood stove in there and a bunk, a couple bunks. And um, we still cooked outside on the fire pit. We spent most of our time outside. And um, what I found out was is that you get a group of people up and if you're a responsible person like me, you end up taking care of people. Uh, most of the time, a whole bunch of people would show up they, you know, they wouldn't bring food, had a sleeping bag maybe, they'd bring their rifle, they wouldn't even bring beer. Um, so I, I learned early on that I had to be kind of prepared for larger groups. So um, I want to talk about my gear, and it could be cowboy gear, it could be deer camp gear, it could just be family camping gear. So the first thing I want to talk about is these big coffee pots. These things are outstanding. Um, you can put them right on the fire, or you can see I got wire on them. And uh, what I would do is I made this tripod, and I would hang my coffee pot over the fire. Just hang it in there, however. And uh, so that worked really good. Um, I got a few of these coffee pots. I got a smaller one here. This one's actually a coffee pot, but it's good for cooking soups and whatnot. You can just put it in the fire. And um, I also, along with my tripod here, made myself a rack that I could pound these in the ground on either side of my fire pit. I bit some big nails, welded them on there, pound them in, put a rod across here, hang my Dutch ovens, my coffee pots, and you know, various other things. So that was kind of nice. And um, also, what you need is you need a good grate. So this is a grate out of an old freezer or refrigerator or whatever. And this is, these are good. And this is one I made, which is nice. You can put two, two blocks or rocks on either side of it and you can cook. The thing is, if you have kids that show up, you know, first, first time hunters, young kids, you want to be able to cook hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that and maybe even a couple of steaks for the adults. So if you could make up something like this or you could find something that you could use like this, that'd be really good. Because uh, like I said, if you're gonna end up with a group of people, somebody is gonna forget something. I mean, you really wanna keep a couple extra sleeping bags, have a good first aid kit, um, plenty of uh, water and a little extra food. You know what you can do is you can throw cans of beans and other stuff in your truck to take along just in case. I mean, I don't know how many times I got stuck with people that were 
and the problem is, is they get snivelly. It's like, well, you didn't bring any food, you're just going to have to go without. They get snivelly. And it's like you want to throw them out of deer camp, but a lot of times you can't do that. Now, a trick with these coffee pots, I don't know if they still make them, but for a long time they made these coffee rings and you drop them in your percolator and uh, they work pretty good. But what I would do, if you want to make some really good coffee, is I'd drop a couple of them in the bottom of one of these things. And uh, actually I would break off a chunk of a Hershey bar, throw it in there and boil the heck out of it. And you can make some good coffee. So that's just kind of a, a comfort tip. It makes things easier. Um, during the Civil War, what they did is they had a little cloth sack. Uh, it looks like a Bull Durham bag, but it's made out of like cotton. And they would just hang it on a string over in the side of the pot down in there and just boil the heck out of it. I mean, they knew about coffee pots and all that stuff back then. I mean, that's a clever idea. I don't know why people don't do that anymore. They just throw the grounds in there and make cowboy coffee. I, love, I happen to like cowboy coffee, but I mean, every once in a while you get kind of tired of the grounds. So the other thing I want to talk about is I got this couple things. I have this big pan. Now you don't want to drag around all this stuff with you if you're going to deer camp, but you want to pick one or two good items, good useful items that you can use. Now the thing about this is if you got a large group of people, I mean, you can cook a lot of potatoes in this thing. Potatoes and sausage, or, you know, I can cook a whole breakfast for about three people in here. Eggs, bacon, and uh, whatever, you know, some potatoes. And actually, if you wanted to pancakes, you can cook a lot of pancakes in here too. So this is good. I got another grill I use. Um, I don't really like it because if it's not perfectly flat, um, it's got a little lip around it, but if it's not perfectly flat, the grease runs off of it into the fire and I have big flame outs and stuff. Um, it's handy to use like on a stove. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is these things are fairly inexpensive. This is a three burner stove. You can get a two burner or whatever, but it's easy to carry. Propane bottle. Um, this one had cast iron, real nice cast iron legs that broke off. And I just cut some pieces of aluminum extrusion and put them on there to replace the legs. But again, if you're like, okay, here's the thing is, is I had my wife up there one time and she cooked hamburger meat, tortillas, beans, and we had tacos and it was good. So this is handy. So you can cook for a lot of people on this too. Um, so last of all, I want to talk about of course bugging out and if you have a cabin or a place you're going to or something you want to do or an area you want to go to and you're like me I have farm animals and I don't want to leave my farm animals home and let them starve or you know shoot them before I have to bug out or whatever it's what I got a chicken cage they would put the chickens in here when they were raising chickens back in the day and stack them all up on a truck and send them to the processing plant. Um, however, they're good to put chickens in. Now you don't need a cage like this. It just happens this is the one I have. But if you have an old, uh, you know, any dog carriers or whatever, you want to keep something around to put your, your cats, you know, get, get a few of them. They're free. You can find them on Craigslist. Get a uh, 
few of them to uh, put your cats and your chickens and whatever you have, quail, guinea pigs, you want to bring your animals along with you. And they're, they're, uh, the chickens are a food, food source. Speaking of the devil. Anyway, um, so again, this, I think that's um, important to have gear to, to be able to take care of other people. And above all, take a first aid kit with you. Um, which I do, I have all of that. I got enough of everything. The problem is I can't carry all my gear. I mean, I thought about little bug out trailers and bug out trucks and all that stuff, but I, I don't even know if I want to mess with all that. Um, so anyway, I think that's it for my, my uh, video on deer camp gear. And I hope you enjoyed it or maybe you learned something and I think I will see you on the next video. Craig Rivers for Rivers In Outdoors. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.